We have time to finish this evening with an arts update. Rocky Mountain PBS reporter Carrie Saldo is the host of Arts District every Thursday evening. For Colorado State of Mind this week, she has brought us a preview of a couple of sculptors. Absolutely, yeah. This week we're heading to the Colorado Spring Fine Arts Center to see a father-son show, Charles and Colin Parsons, and it's called Continuance. I love the opportunity to show the poetics in life. The horizon and the landscape, the silhouette of the mountains, are really important to me, and I love the cosmos, I love space. Both of these artists are looking at how we experience the world through light and through our landscape and through our space. Both artists are giving us something that is really rooted in, in their own emotions and their own experiences, but it's also very intellectual. The title for the two combined one person exhibits is continuance and it's about the dialogue between generations that is universal. By showing these two artists side by side and not necessarily next to each other in the same space is really giving our viewers the opportunity to experience these artists as individuals, but to also see where Colin has been inspired by his father. As a kid, I always loved light, and I use a lot of the similar methods and techniques that my father uses, especially material, acrylic, industrial found material. I'm making references to readings, to pieces of music, to thoughts, and they kind of fold in. They really help, I think, give a cue for the viewer if the work is a little hard. All of this is a little, at times, confusing. I mean, drawings, steel beams, standing on this shiny piece of metal that was inspired by the floor plate on our mass transit buses. If a person can walk in and realize this is a language, it's a visual language, that I'm really trying to speak to them. That is so unusual, the things that they use to make their sculptures. All those industrial materials, you would think the work would be very cold, but the way that they have programmed it at the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center really invites people in to experience the work. I think it's really beautiful. Now, back in Denver, there's an event that no one has been able to miss, even if they wanted to. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's the annual National Western Stock Show, and for my purposes, the Coors Western Art Show is a big, a big part of that. And when you think about Western art, you're probably thinking, you know, landscapes and livestock. And there are all of those images there, but the way that they're approached at this exhibit, they're very unconventional. So it's always new, even though you're thinking like, oh, it's gonna be a lot of cows and a lot of buildings. <laughs> but they're really beautiful, they're really artfully done. And one instance of a Colorado artist uh, who really stands out to me is Scott Fraser, And he's a photorealist painter. His work, though, is very humorous. He has one image in particular where he has a cow with a match poised in his mouth. <laughs> and if you follow the matches around the frame of the painting, you see he's about to roast a duck. Oh my gosh. And so these are things you can see in addition to uh, the petting zoo and everything at the, and the rodeos. And, and the so mutton forth. busting, which I saw last year for the first time ever. Now, where is the art exhibit when you get there? The third floor of the Expo Center, and it's there through January 25th. I understand some congratulations are in order for another artist. Absolutely. We're really happy. Uh, Brian Corrigan, who we saw on Arts District earlier this summer, and many people probably experienced it downtown on the 16th Street Mall. It was, oh heck yeah, that interactive video game where your body became the joystick. Oh yes, I do remember. So he applied for a Night Cities grant, and we learned this week out of 7,000 people, he's one of 126 finalists. That is pretty impressive. And we'll find out later this spring if he actually gets the grant, which would mean that, oh heck yeah, what you saw and played here in Denver first will be in several cities across the country. Thank you, Carrie Saldo.